In Europe, ski racing is more than a pastime. The history and legacy of skiing is intertwined with day-to-day -day life. Here in Wangen, the Laberhorn is one of the most legendary downhill courses on the World Cup. People come by the thousands to be part of the energy on downhill day, but only an elite few get to race. But just across the valley, in the town of Murin, there's an equally legendary downhill course. The oldest and longest downhill race in the world, the Inferno. One that any skier who dares to enter can suit up and be part of one of the oldest legacies in skiing. We made it to Mirren, Switzerland, which is arguably one of the most beautiful places in the world. And we're gonna go race the Inferno. In true return to the turn fashion, we showed up here and we know we're gonna race, but we know nothing else. We are racing, but we don't really know what we're doing or what time we're supposed to be anywhere. So your race numbers will be in the race office in, in Stechelberg, I guess. In you, Stechelberg? You, yes. So we just yeah. take the trams down and exactly, go there. Yeah. Well, then maybe we'll go down and check yeah. out okay. Stechelberg. And if you have any further questions, you can ask down there or come back. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Lucky number 1794. All right, it's happening. And my grandfather was Arnold Lund, who started the Inferno Ski Race. It's known as the longest ski race in the world. He and a bunch of pals were sitting around and they said, skiing's getting too organized. Why don't we just have a simple race where everybody starts at the top together and the first one to the bottom wins. And of course, since then, it has grown and grown and grown. And it's fair to say that now in its 79th year, it is still going strong, unbelievably strong. It is where the downhill race, as we know it today, on the World Cup circuit was born. There are 1,850 competitors and you go at 12 second intervals. So it's pretty gnarly because you get people of all abilities overtaking, hopefully not crashing out. It is the only time you have completely free reign to go as fast as you like on a prepared piste and you can go hell for leather. The full length goes 14.9 kilometres travelling downhill but also a little bit of uphill. So some of the challenge is just how long it goes but it's also different conditions depending when your start number is. It's a bit like Sitting in a, in a souped up car and going around a racetrack, you know there's nothing coming the other way. You can go as fast as you want, and that's very addictive. Everybody here has downhill skis or Super G skis, and it's like a pretty serious attitude happening right now. This is kind of like our final inspection because we won't have a chance to look at it before we run, which is crazy. I don't know if you want to be going full full ball up here or if you want to kind of do the resting, you know, and save yourself for the bottom. It's going to be hard to know like how much energy to save. The first part is probably like three or four minutes of just tucking on the flat cat track. So your legs are going to be smoked and then you come into this super steep and narrow section and I mean these are monster turns. Your legs are going to be super tired. It's, these are going to be hard turns. Um, that guy looks fast. Yeah, there's a lot of fast guys here. A lot of like German speed suits. It's kind of like everybody looks like they're going to blow their knees out or they're just going to rip a World Cup downhill. Yeah, that guy's sick. <laughs> that was the line. Most people this week came to ski the Inferno, but the terrain here is really big and really fun. And 
you're in Europe, people love skiing groomers here. So when it snows, there's not many people off the trail. When we woke up Thursday, it had snowed about a foot overnight and the sky was blue. The idea of burning the devil is that was you're going to burn the devil to get all the bad things off the race. So tomorrow we'll have a clean race. We're gonna get ready and go race this thing. But tension's high up here, people are nervous. It's a bit foggy, clouds are kind of in and out. Um, I don't know, I don't really know what to feel about this day, honestly. It's like, there's so many unknowns. It's just, yeah, this is gonna be game time decisions constantly. I'm nervous, man, like we've been here this thing is just like gradually ramped up for days and now we're here and it's just like peak tension and ready to be done.
zusammen und starten also dann kurz um nach 10 Uhr. Kurz vor halb 10 die Männer. Die now the race is over, sports event is over and now the party begins. Bop, 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 bop. 